Greetings folks, it's Sunday evening, another old school nighttime video may be upon us. This motor isn't up to the business, I don't believe, because of the immense torque, or whatever it is, generated by the spin bike. So I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to try and connect a 3 kilowatt electric bike hub motor to here, which will obviously involve modifying all this bit. So first I'm going to disconnect the motor, then I'm going to take this... Yeah, sorry, first I'm going to disconnect the motor, then I'm going to remove this extra bar that you can see at the back here, which is just a couple of bolts, so let's do that. What we have here is we're going to have to make a bigger offset to take into account that, uh, because we don't have that on here. Yeah, it's about the same. You can see we can only use all of the nut, but you see it's flat, so it's perfect to fit in there. What I'm going to do is we're not going to need this bolt on the bottom here to add the weight because that's so heavy. That's a 10 to 12 kilo, so I'm going to remove that bolt, take this apart and extend the offset of this to start with. Right, I've managed to find a bolt which should do perfectly. It's a bit rusty. But that'll do for now. Right, we're going to attempt that, okay? Right, so now we're going to try and get the motor to fit in on these. I don't know how easy or hard it'll be. What we've got and you can definitely see an angle so we may need a longer bolt and more spaces at the top but i'm going to try it anyway well we're going to see if it moves if it feels mega dodgy i'm going to stop whoa that was just me getting on the dang thing I guess the best get this hooked up to the rectifier. Right, so that was fairly simple. We've connected the three phase wires coming out of the three kilowatt bike motor to the AC to DC rectifier. And then, ah, let me, I've just got to wire up this panel because it's still plugged into the multimeter. Hang on, let's just test it with the multimeter for now. Right, so you can see the reading on the motor. So that would appear to work. Just out of interest, I'm going to connect it to the TriStar. Okay, I think I realise what's happening. It's slipping under load. So what I need to do is think of a way to rubberize the surface, the interior surface of the bike there, bike wheel. That's what I need to do, but it shows promise. But that is what's happening. It's slipping. I'm going to work on fixing this design a bit better, and then I'll be back in the next video with hopefully some better results from this. And it's very noisy and very vibratory, which I need to finish this off and try and rubberize the inside of that with some old inner tube or something. Cheers.